the road's flooded down there. And it looks like the beamers broke down. I've got to be careful when I drive the Audi back. Because there's going to be some road flooding, for sure. Well, we're back, it's the next morning and it's fine, it's not raining. It's about uh, half ten the next day. So it's been raining for almost 24 hours. Yeah, but luckily it has finally stopped now and the skies are clearing. It's going to be a lot nicer day today, I think. The sun's about to come out, I think. Um, so we're just setting off to go through the last four lots. We've only got one mile to do anyway. And then uh, that'll be uh, the end of the cruise and me and Mum will walk back. Just filling the lock now. So this video was originally supposed to be the last video because it wasn't going to be a very long cruise, about a mile or so. But you'll see later on in the video, we have to change our plans and go a bit further. This one's quite high. Ooh. As I said, we've had a lot of rain and it makes these overflow waves even more fierce. Fierce enough that they can actually push the boat over to the other side. You yes, weren't sir, sick. I, I felt sick most of the day, bad tummy, didn't feel very well at all. Not like me, usually I'm okay. <laughs> 
I know exactly what it was. It was women's flu. Really? It's women's flu. She just wanted to get out of doing the locks in the rain. That's what it was. Bit of a break here between these two locks and the next two, so we're going to get back on the boat. This is probably the ultimate solar setup you can have. I believe it's one that actually tracks the sunlight and moves to wherever the sunlight is automatically. As you can see, this is now a truly stunning section of the Coventry Canal. Love it through here. This is Whitley Bridge. It's a really attractive cast iron footbridge. What was it for? The deck is gone. It must have been wood and it's completely right out now. So its purpose is no longer needed, but why would they need a bridge here? A footbridge? Strange. I can't find anything about it online, so if anyone knows the reason, let me know. Tell you what, I think that kind of enhances the view. Oh my god, it goes all the way down there. It's like looking at the River Thames or the River Severn. You could navigate on that now. A whole new navigation. Wow. It goes all the way down there. I'm going to have to fly my drone tonight and have a look at that. That was the River Anchor, which is a small river, not like the Severn or the Thames, but it's burst its banks and it gives the illusion that it's a beautiful, vast river. Oh my god, even the canals start to flood, guys, look at this. See the way pushing the boat over? That's why he's got to go so fast out of it to be able to steer against it. And that's it, that is the last lock until we get to glass cut locks.
This is Grendon Wharf, private CRT moorings. There's very attractive private moorings along here. It's room anyway. So that room is wide. Wow, we must have had a lot of rain last night. This is an overflow weir and it leads to the River Anchor. So all the extra water in the canal ends up in the river anchor. So we're stopping off at Bradley Green Facilities Point here. There's water and rubbish and also an outside too. And we plan to just go through that bridge and more up there. But there's a problem. I have my suspicions that this is a private car park. And it is. Only for the uh, private moorings, so yeah, can't park here, which totally messes things up. There's no parking anywhere else, even at the next bridge. No parking, but I want to show you this the road's flooded down there, and it looks like the beamers broke down. I've got to be careful when I drive the Audi back because there's going to be some road flooding for sure. Oh. I should have known, I should have looked at the book because I've marked down the any parking and the moorings. I should have known that here at Bradley Green was a private CRT car park. Um, so yeah, you'd have to have something on your dash otherwise you get clamped. And you get, you do know that if you did more here, any one of these people are going to ring up straight away. <laughs> park here, sorry. Um, yeah, so there's no parking between here and Polesworth. In Polesworth. But um, yeah, but the plan is now because there's no parking for another. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back. We can't walk back eight miles. <laughs> we could cycle that, but one towpath's not very practical. Oh yeah, and it's very. Two, After the car isn't practical. And 24 hours of rain is a bit mm. wet. The um. Towpath. You gotta watch out because it's flooding from the roads. Oh okay. Um. So yeah, Mum is gonna sacrifice herself and walk back. She doesn't really matter. She doesn't mind it because. We've done this section twice, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we've done this section and, you know, I don't fancy walking eight miles like Josh said. Four and a half miles is alright, but eight miles is a... I do feel bad making a dirt, but obviously I have to stay on the boat to record, don't I? Yeah, that's right. Alright, so that's the plan then. Plan B. <laughs> Actually, C. So we're going to go to Alvecott, guys. There's a marina there and a uh, nice little woodland. I think, maybe. Maybe we'll take the day off tomorrow then, and we can go in the woodland and get some wood. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, yeah. we're going to get some wood last time, weren't we? Mm. We haven't, so. Oh, yeah, there's a flood there. Yeah, it's still there. Oh, yeah, you see it. Oh, God, yeah, there's a flood there. How did you know that? Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't know there was a flood there. How did you know that? That's my favourite. Oh
This is a beautiful section of canal leading up to Polesworth, but there's no real good parking until we get to Alvecott, really. And we don't want to moor up in Polesworth because there's a lot of dog walkers there. Just overnight, this field has been turned into a lake. This would be a good place to walk, and there is a road here. But unfortunately, the B road that goes over the canal doesn't have any pullings nowhere near the canal. So unfortunately, we can't park here. Now, as you can see, this boat is still here, this old rotten working boat. Quite sad to see. But my curiosity was so spiked, I wanted to see how long it was left here. So I went on Google Earth. And I went back all the way to 1999, wasn't there. And I went back to 2013, and it wasn't there. But the next imagery, which was 2015, it was there. So it likely moored up here in 2013, 2014, maybe 2015. And it's been sat here ever since. It looks like for whatever reason, part of this old cottage here was taken off. This is Grendon Dock, which is, as you can see, a dry dock. But it's not that old. I looked on the satellite imagery and there was an indentation here there used to be an old basin or a dock or something like that. But the satellite imagery jumps from 2000 to 2006 and it wasn't there in 2000 but it was there in 2006. Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever seen a Royal Snail train. There's the River Anchor again, it's burst its banks here too. Herons down there fishing in the new room. Get 
as you can see, here's the remains of the old swing bridge here, which was bridge 50A. But who knows what this swing bridge was originally used for. I look back on the satellite imagery, and even back in 2000, this thing was left open. What a different year and a half makes the Coventry Canal has changed so much. Now this has been turned into cabins. Uh, yeah, I remember this last year. There was horses, a barn, and geese. But the geese are still here. I don't know if you can really see it on here, but on that hill there, that is the Polesworth motocross track. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That little tower there is the obelisk on Hose Hill, which carries the inscription, site of the Chapel of St. Leonard at Ho, demolished in 1538. The obelisk was erected in 1846, at the time of the finding of the remains of the chapel. To the left was an open field up until 2018, which is when this new housing estate was built. God, I love my new Google Earth. Looking back at the satellite imagery, why wasn't I doing this before? This appears to be a trade boat that makes R out of old tyres. How interesting. This is quite a tight bridge to go. It's almost on like an S bend. Looks like the CRT had done more bank repairs here since we've been here. As June last year, the towpath was terrible. It was about one foot in width and was really tedious, especially on a bike. See, I knew there were more geese there last time. Looks like these ones have gone on a hunting party. Oh no. They're coming.
Looks like this old lock cottage is now a semi-detached house. But as you can see, one of them likes to keep things traditional, and the other, not so much. There's some more visitor mines here, just on the other side of Polesworth, with rings. This is quite a nice autumnal tree section through here, as the canal hugs the side of the hill. And the river anchor is running very fast below. As you can see, there's a small tree down in the canal here with just enough room for a narrowboat to get past. And I know the CRT should get on it and get rid of it, but they do have more important things to get on with. I suppose if it's not completely blocking their navigation, then it's fine to leave it until they have time. There appears to be an old basin here, but there was a lot of quarry and mining work around this area, so it probably has something to do with that, but now it's been turned into Crown private moorings. the M42 now. No idea what this moral means. Up port structure. So we're entering Pooley Country Park now and it's a 26 and a half acre site, one third of which is a site of special scientific interest and contains several pools caused by mining subsidence. This looks to be the remains of Bridge 57. Now remember, this whole area was hustling and bustling with mining. Another old bridge, looks like bridge 58.
we're just going to more up around the corner here because there's parking but yes the train track is right there and I just thought my well, mum is not going to like that she's not going to sleep with that so we're going to have to reverse back and what makes it all good is there's a GLP cruiser here so we've got to be very careful I made it back, I'm more opposite the Alvecott Priory, which is an old abandoned priory and it's opposite, but I'll talk about that more in the next video. Just had a shower, covered in hair, it's a black top again. It's that time of year again guys, it's uh, it would be Really bright and sunny now in the summer. Yeah, it's dark um, very early now. Half five mm. now. There is something behind me, and I don't know who oh, that kind of is. Oh, that's Herbie! But I'm gonna kill it. Herbie goes bananas. Oh, there's Ash now. Let's fucking kill it. Uh, yeah. It's dark very early now. Um, yeah, really early. I got back to the. Oh. Yes. Look at your story. <laughs> took like a, well, I, as you know, as we left. I left you and I had to walk four and a half miles back, so uh, I don't know what bridge I started at, but at Bridge 40 I saw um, Brian and Nicky from West Riding that we met in uh, Stoke Golding. We've been like overtaking them, they've been overtaking us, oh, we cruise that over and I thought, oh god, I could really do with a cup of tea, so I knocked on their boat, <gasps> oh, is there any possibility I'll go with a cup of tea? Yeah, I'll just get, um, Brian to put his trousers on. <laughs> no, he had long johns on. <laughs> and and um, yeah, I invited him. That's about half one. I didn't leave to half three. So thanks, guys, for the chat mm. and the two cups of tea and the caramel wafer. Brilliant. Thanks, DR. That would really be at Will's, or Will's boat, Yeah, right I now. did tell him actually about Narrowboat Wheel because Narrowboat Wheel has proper caramel wafers. <laughs> We don't have proper caramel wafers, and they had Aldi's caramel wafers, I think. But it was nice. It broke the walk up, and then I it was forty, and I had to get to thirty-two. So going that time, at half three, I had got some lovely photographs of the canal and everything because the sun was just going down. It was lovely. We got got back to the car. Not talk about cars. Um, yeah, I got back, and I couldn't put the the electric seat wouldn't go forward mm. so I couldn't put it close to the steering wheel so I had a five litre old container so it's set for dad wasn't it it's set for dad so it's right Maybe back like seven eight inches tall yeah. yeah it's right back so I put the the set it's funny because the, the back seat going like that is okay just the one not going forward yeah. so I brought that one up and the and the seat up and then I wedged a five litre container behind me so I sat on the edge of the seat so I could touch the, do the pedals. Josh goes, just go careful, you need to get back. So I'd done that and Josh thought I was going to go through flooding because I went the wrong way with the sat nav. Yeah, I, I exactly. avoided it. You didn't them. go down Spoon Lane. Yeah. Spoon's Lane is the one bridge that we dropped off at when there was flooding. Yeah, spring. and there was a BMW, wasn't there, there? Yeah. In flood. So luckily, because yeah. I cocked up, I, as I usually do, and then I'm driving along and my phone just goes black so I thought oh Christ I don't know where the hell I'm going so I pulls over and um yeah there's like some industrial unit or something and gates there so I was right in front of the gate so you know what happens to us a, a car comes behind me so I had to move along on the edge of the road with all these cars speeding by so I put the hazards on you know I had to charge my phone up and then to carry on, so but I, I know made that's why is in there that you plug in straight away. Yeah, I know, but it's all complicated in there because Josh has put like a, a new tablet in there and all that. It's usually with the red wire I have to plug in. I couldn't find the red wire. The red so. wire is plugged into the tablet, <laughs> which you should be using for Yeah, I know, time. but I was so annoyed Showed with the seat. I know, I was so annoyed with the seat not working. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh. Toby's got something in his throat. They've all got, the cats have all got colds. Toby yeah, had it first. Let's wrap this up. Right. Well, um, yeah. I wasn't in the vlog very much because... Yeah. But we oh. had a nice cruise, really nice. Yeah, it didn't rain, did it? Saw, so you're yeah. all right. We're going to stay here for a couple of days. I don't know, we might be moving on tomorrow. I've got the train track just here again. I didn't sleep yeah. last Or we can night. pull the boat back and we can get a little bit further away. <laughs> but tomorrow we're going to be going into the woodlands and collecting some wood. Mm. Dad's going to be putting on the new solar panel brackets. Yeah. If I'm there, I'll record it. Because our old ones are broken, now someone's recorded them. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like. Yeah. And subscribe and stay tuned. And uh, just lovely thank you from Nancy. Yeah. In Colorado, in Woodland Colorado. Park. Um, she sent us some money. Mm. So thank you very much, Nancy and Bill. Yeah. I do appreciate that. It's we all out. appreciate that. That's going to go into Olive for yeah. diesel. So thank you, guys. I think there's a marina just past the bridge yep. and hopefully get some diesel there. Yeah. Um, and we'll be on New Canal. We'll be on the Birmingham and Faisley Ooh. Canal next time, guys. Yeah, heading into so Birmingham. Off the Co Coventry, so keep yeah. watching. We'll see how it goes on the beach. <laughs> see you later. Bye.